is what it is. We answer any type of question, give you any information that you're looking for. Like I said before, this is a community show. So whatever issues you got, whatever questions you got, we can air it out. You know, once again, it's 305 479 2969, man. You know, we live, Grandma 101 TV, man. But right now, we got hold a up, hold very, up. very. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, big shots out there. <laughs> Z-Mar Designs. You don't see that? That logo in the back right there? That's what did that. That's what did that thing right there. Uh, I'm actually holding it up. Hold it up, man. Spin it. <laughs> spin. Let me see if I can <laughs> Let me see if I can spin it. Nah, man. Finish going on what you were saying. Yeah, man. Yeah. But, um,. I know for, as far as for me and Kay, this is a very special moment for us, man. This is a young lady, man. She's a, ex, she's a extremely a great songstress, R&B singer. We watched her grow up from 14 years old and blossom into a beautiful Sheesh. young lady. She's taller than me, I feel ashamed. But this is a good day, man. I always like to see artists, you know, blossom, man. But we're gonna bring out this young lady, man. Brady, come on out. Yay! Make, make sure I'm smelling right and looking right. I look good. I look good when women come here. How y'all doing? It's good, man. How you doing, man? Nothing. It's been so long since I've seen hugs. Um, <laughs> I'm just glad your father's not here. But yeah, man. Um, how you doing, girl? I'm living. I'm living. You know. So let's let's get into it, man. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm rubbing the hands. Hold up. We got a caller. Let's get to the caller. See what they talking about. Call, are you there? I can hear you, but I can't hear you. Oh, she hung up. She got <laughs> nervous, man. Like you know, that's that's how that's how Brady fans be doing. They be no. getting all nervous. <laughs> they, be, they be getting no. nervous and all that. Um, big shouts out to all the people that's tuned in, as you know, in TGK or. Uh, Metro West and that, that's incarcerated, man. Big salute to y'all. That's no wow. joke. That's no game, man. I really appreciate y'all tuning in, man. And hold your head. You know what I'm talking about? Keep fighting. Keep dealing with them appeals. Keep trying to get home. If you're not coming home, it don't matter. Keep God first, man. Brady. What's up? Who are you, girl? Oh, I'm just me. <laughs> you just you? <laughs> but where did you come? Where did Brady come from? Like, because I know who you are. Right. But the people need to know who you are. Well, you know, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Everybody knows that I'm a Broward girl. Um, but South Florida in general, like, you know, I was all over South Beach, North Miami, everywhere, Opa Laka. Yeah. Anywhere I could perform, I was there. You know, I was, was. here, back and forth in Georgia. Yeah. You know, so I'm a Southern, I'm a true Southern girl. Southern, Southern well, girl. Were you born in Georgia or you born here? I was born in Fort Lauderdale. Um, when I was here, if I was here throughout the year, I spent the summers in Georgia. So oh, I was in, in Georgia throughout the year, then I was here over the summer, unless I was on tour. If I was on okay. tour, the majority of the time I was with Daddy. So as far as like shows and tours and all that, what helps you the most like, even like get to where you're at right now on this show, grind mode, people that are in grind mode, it's like what has helped you even get here? Because some people might not understand what it takes to even be an artist, they just see somebody on YouTube or see somebody on television and they just jump by and think they can do it like right first and foremost it was God you know number okay. one and then secondly I had a great foundation like nobody but my daddy believed and supported me supported me so yeah. um, since I was 14 legitimately watching a commercial for uh, the pipeline and I was like daddy mm -hmm. I want to do this I gotta do it <laughs> And you know, ever since that day, you know, my daddy was the only white man in there, and he didn't yeah. care. Like, and he was thugging. Yeah. So yeah. whatever. When it, I can say no I want to be a NASCAR driver, daddy gonna be like, "What's up?" Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. So now, like, from live shows to recordings, like, what do you do now? Like, from then to now, what's the development stage to the point where are you doing more writing? Are you doing more shows? Like. There was a long time where I focused on just performing and mm. I performed like crazy all over South Beach everywhere Beach with everybody and you know it was consistently only with bands and you know I did a lot of like open mics and but and mm. free things like that but for about three years I said no no more open mics no more unless I was hosting the open mic yeah. I wouldn't perform I wouldn't do anything like that and yeah. I just uh, focused on performing with bands and I didn't care if it was a cover band as long as it was a check I'm there mm -hmm. you signing it and my name on it I'm there Please so then after that, um, I moved to Atlanta and I focused solely on just recording. And I wanted to really 
come up with a formula and a plan to say this is what I want to do and I want to execute it yeah. and I wanted to become just an all around better artist within the studio because mm. I, I focused so much on performing yeah. and that I had lost my touch in the studio but you know mm. Thank God that, you know, that's something that, that writing has always been yeah. in my blood. I've always been able to do What you that, like to so. write about, though? Like, what, what's something that, like, is there one topic or is it something that you always stay on? Or? No, for me, it's real life. Real yeah. life situations. Like, everything I write about is what really happened. Did You know, uh, when I go in the studio and I like writing with a partner. That's yeah. my favorite thing to do because the best songs I feel like come from conversation. Yeah. And they say, well, well what did you do today? You know, yeah. how was your day? What happened to you last week? Is there something that, like, I, I want to know this, though, like, this me, though, like, is there something that you begin to write about? And since you have, like, a certain image or character that you're trying to portray, is there something that you like, oh, no, I got to stay away from that because I don't want to disappoint nobody or offend my daddy or make people look at me crazy when i was younger when i was younger yeah mm -hmm. now oh i can't cuss right yeah now no mm -hmm. now i now if it's on my mind yeah. it's my personality if it's on my mind i'm gonna yeah. say it if it's that's what i want to talk about i'm gonna do it you know and everything i write about is real just real life you mm -hmm. know situations on the last project i remember that i was working on i had a record that uh sean mcmillian wrote and you know was written off of a conversation that we had it was called parking lot okay. and it was about doing it in parking lot i did you that know. i think yeah. we all have but the underlining meaning wasn't <laughs> really us doing it in the parking lot the underlining meaning was i don't care where we at i love you so much that i'll be with you no matter what yeah i you know like but i was just joking though i've never did it in a parking lot because i'm you a lie. virgin and i'm a you christian lie. and i'm saved by his grace and you know i just prayed it i'd be the son of these cola for these last even days but when i get married reverend you know what i'm talking about but not real talk since you talking about that and doing it in the parking lot like do you have like male groupies like i know i be having like doing shows and be females waiting at the hotel and this and this. do you have guys that be like straight thirsty like like really waiting on you I don't know. The blushing done told me everything. <laughs> like, I really want to hear a real, because she said she honest. I want to hear this. Uh, when my dad was was really on me, no. Yeah. Uh, when I started managing myself majority of the time. Jesus. Uh, it, was more, it wasn't more so fans. <laughs> it was more so like people in the industry like, oh, you left your daddy at home. Oh, mm. okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. So what, <laughs> what's that guy that could probably be like, that end up in the parking lot with like, let's be honest, like the guy that's gonna say something or do something or he smell a certain way, he look a certain way. What's your type of guy? Well, I'm not really super guy crazy like that. Like she buy y'all heard, no, y'all heard no. that so <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but go ahead. That's not what I meant. What I'm saying is like I never like I didn't really get a chance to super date like that. Cause I okay. was always working for me. So, you know, I missed a lot of high school. But for me, I'm attracted to uh, power, to a man that, you know, I want somebody like my daddy. My daddy is big, tall, and in control. Yeah. He's the man I on the scene you, all the time. I feel you and all that. <laughs> yeah, man. Them dudes be out here powerful and all that, man. <laughs> you know, so finish saying what you were saying and all that. Yeah, my daddy's, my daddy's six, seven. Yeah, man. But now, nah, go ahead, man. Like, before you get up out of here, make sure you give out that contact information. It's at the bottom of the screen, but talk to them and let them know how to get in contact. Um, you know, basically, every way to get in contact with me, whether it's YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter, it's all at Brady is Music, B R A D Y I S M U S I C. And you so, love it. And she and really loves it yeah, because you, you've been doing it long I live enough for to it. really. But what you love the most about it? Performing is always going to be my first foremost passion performing is you know i love i love the creative process the whole process um because right now that's what i'm going through with the new project which is called expiration date it's just formulating the whole direction the look the every, i love everything about that but mm -hmm. when you get everything perfect and you at the point where you get to construct your show because i'm i've always been a live band performer mm -hmm. that's the best part of it for me is to be on stage and hearing it feeling the, the pound of the drums and the bass and the guitar and just all of the liveness. I, I live, honey. Yeah, I relate. It's something that feels like hunching. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't even sit still. I wanted to think about it. Boy, like, <laughs> Cause one time it was this, uh, never mind. Mm -hmm. But look, uh, 
You see what the next video is? Go ahead, introduce that. So the next video is a cover that I did uh, a little while back. It's called All of Me by John Legend. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Hercules! Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we out of here, man. Go to that video, man. What, what happened to my technical people in the back? <laughs> <laughs>